Bronson. Bronson, I'll murder you! my room. You sure? Yes, and it's a really scary noise. Burglars coming through the window. 20 metres up in the air? Best up at the sauce bottle. Nothing. Not a sound. Must have been a nightmare. Yeah, I had one too. I dreamt that Faye dumped me. It was horrible. But it wasn't a nightmare. It was real. for the election. Oh, Nell, be yourself. It's you and your policies people will vote for, not a dress. Thanks. I'm sure I put it here. Where is it gone? Come on, Bronson. Who drank my peanut butter and lime milkshake? Is that what that was? I tipped it down the sink. It had gone off. I thought it was rubbish. Rubbish? Hi, Pete. Hi, Fa. Hi, Tony. Hi, Faye. Hi, Bron. Hey, remember this? The brooch you gave me. Rubbish! Oh. Bronson! <clears throat> he just doesn't seem to like me. No matter what I do, one day he buys me a present, the next day he slams the door in my face. It's just not going to work, Tony. You don't have room in your life for both Bronson and me. Of course I have. 
You don't even tell him off when he's rude to me. Look, he likes you. I know he does. I know he has to come first. I know that the kids have to take priority. It's just... I love you, Tony. I love you too, Faye. It's just not gonna work. Not gonna work? I'm sorry. Me too. Dad, there are lemons on the tree. They weren't there yesterday. It's got something to do with my dream. I dreamt that she called it off. And she has. Something weird's going on. I mean, yesterday there were none. And now there's three. Father shot a fox and he buried its innards under that tree. You can't really blame her though, can you? Hi, oh, what's happening? Faye's dropped dad and the wedding's off. You okay, Dad? Yeah, yeah. I was gonna break it off myself anyway. Ah, plenty more fish in the sea. I'm finished with women. Funny. James, you got me. That's true. You want a drink? A nice drink of uh, strawberry, lemon, and chocolate. Always cheers me up. It's not the answer to every problem, Bronson. I know, sometimes the bits of strawberry get stuck up in the straw, but go and have a drink. Okay.
not this. Hmm, I'm not dead. Hi, Linda. Hi, Pete. Hi, Linda. You want to sit? Shh! Never wake a sleepwalker. A lemon. Yep. A Tony, the boys have a proposition to put to you. Yeah, uh, can we do some gardening for you, Mr. Twist? Uh, just to help raise money for the uh, charity. Yeah, uh, pruning. Trimming. Clearing. Clipping, mulching, slashing, ripping. Anything you like. A total and comprehensive garden program. It's a little ripper. I'm not in the mood today, boys. Uh, how about tomorrow? A bit of toddy up around here will cheer you up no end. Whatever you say, boys. I don't know. Okay, Butte, leave it to us, guys. Here it's going, Bruno. Here it's going, chop it down. That's Grandpa. That's Grandma. Mm -hmm. And where's that other one? Must be in this. There he is. That's, there's the fox. He shot that fox and he made a rap for Grandma. Oh. Well, she didn't like it either. She thought it was cruel too. <laughs> there he is. Isn't he handsome? Oh, yeah. Look at his blue eyes. That's what attracted Grandma to him in the first place. Those beautiful blue eyes. What have happened to the fox fur? I don't know. Thrown away, I suppose. Mm. I don't think we should pick those lemons. Not now that we know what's buried there. When I die, I want you to bury me on a lonely cliff overlooking an ocean. A lonely grave for a lonely man. You got us. How come you're lonely? A man needs a woman, Bronson. I don't. He's lonely at night, Bronson. Oh, come and sleep in my room, Dad. <laughs> Thanks, Bronson. Snap out of it, Dad. <laughs>
hands. What a shell puss. <laughs> what are you doing? Who else? Uh, nothing. Do you want a drink? Get lost. I'd go back to bed. I've got enough troubles of my own. But, Dad, I have to go downstairs. No buts. Go on. Go back to bed. I'm sorry, Fox. I'll get the lemons for your eyes in the morning. Trimmed back enough groups? Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, I think that tree will be really strong when it grows back. <laughs> no! What are you doing? Down, tall! It's gone! The whole tree is ruined! Prune? Does she mean prune? <laughs> lemons. The fox's eyes. He just came back to life. And now you'll never see. She's lost her mind. That's a rocker. <laughs> what about the other little lemon tree? Linda. The fox's insides went buried there. Come on, love. Come on. <laughs> I think you should have a try, okay? Don't so blame us, we were just pruning. Slashing, ripping. We were just doing our best and she runs up. Yeah. It won't work, Nell. It's the wrong tree. The fox won't eat these. Try anyway. For me. <sighs> these aren't from your grave. Sorry, Fox. They've gone. And this is the best I could do. Why don't we charge the transport, Mr. Twist? And with a bit of fertilizer, it'll grow back in no time. You'll be fertilizer in a minute. 
Come on, hurry up, clean it up. How'd it go, love? never did very well. It should have. Mm. It was planted on Grandad's grave. Linda, look. <laughs> Blue eyes. Yep. Blue eyes. Yeah. 